Now the question says that in a triangle ABC, KVN AD, BE, and CF intersect at a point P, and the area of the triangles PAF, PFB, PBD, PCE are uh, 40, 30, 35, and 84 respectively. And we need to find the area of the triangle. So let us first of all draw a rough diagram of the given uh, triangle and also let us put up the figures. So this is a rough diagram I have drawn and I have put the respective figures also. So the ABC is a triangle, D, E, F are the uh, KBNs and 40, 30, 35 and 85 these numbers are the respective area of, of those triangles. Now we need to find the area of the larger triangle that is ABC. The two unknown parts of the triangle is the two parts of the uh, triangle ABC are unknown. So let me assume that this part is uh, of area X and the area of triangle APE is Y. We can use the concept of mass point geometry to solve uh, this question. Uh, apart from mass point geometry, we will also be needing a very small concept and that is in any triangle. So if I take any triangle say the triangle is x, y, z and if I draw a KVN say y, t which meets x, y at some place say at point t then uh, <clears throat> we can say that this, uh, this, KV, this line y, t has actually divided the triangle into two parts. So this part the triangle x, y, t and triangle y, t, z is it is clear that the height if I draw a height for both these triangle then this height will be common and we know that the area of the triangle is half base into height. So if height is common then the area of these two triangles will solely depend upon their base or the ratio of the area of these two triangles will solely depend upon their base. So we can say that the ratio of the area of the triangle would be xt over tz. So this is a simple concept which we will be using apart from mass point geometry to get the answer. Now let's move back to the questions. So uh, observe the triangle APB. We have to just observe this triangle APB. You can see that PF is a KVN to this particular triangle and the area of these two parts is in the ratio and both the parts area is given one is 30 and another is 40. So with this logic I can say that the height for both this triangle will remain same and hence the area should be in the ratio of their respective base or I can say that the base can also or we can say that the base will be in the ratio of their respective areas. So AF over FB will be in the ratio 40 by 30 or 4 is to 3. So AF will be 4 and FB will be 3. So this is how we are moving towards those information which we use in mass point geometry. So we have got one ratio that is AF and FB is 4 is to 3. With the same concept, we can apply the similar concept in triangle ABD. So if you observe triangle ABD, you can see that this A, you can see that this is ABD. I am considering BP as the KVN. So it has been divided into two triangles and that is triangle ABP and triangle B, P, D. I hope you can visualize this. Again the area of triangle A, B, P is 30 plus 40 which is 70 and the area of triangle B, P, D is 35. So with the same logic I can say that the ratio A, P over P, D will be 70 by 35 or 2 is to 1. Hence we got another ratio and that is AP is two parts so PD will be one part. As we have got the two ratios so now we are all set to apply mass point geometry. So let's start with that. So let me start with AB itself. So it is 4 is to 3 so the masses should be in the ratio 3 is to 4. So let me take 3 
kg at A, so I have to take 4 kg at B and at F it will be 7 kg because that will be the sum of the masses. Now uh, the next I will be considering AD, so the ratio is 2 is to 1, so 2 into 3 is 6, so it has to be 1 into 6 to make the line AD as a stable line. Now moving towards BC, so it will uh, the at the pivotal point the total mass is 6 and at one end it is 4 so definitely at point C it has to be 2. And on A and on line AC we can see that the masses are at the masses are 3 and 2 so the ratio of AE and EC would be 2 is to 3. So this is what we have done. <coughs> yeah, I'm, I'm left, I left this part as well so it will be in the ratio 2 is to 4 so it should be 1 is to 2. Now it is very clear so again applying this this particular concept in triangle APC so just observe triangle APC we can say that the portion y upon 85 must be equal to 2 by 3. With this we can get the value of y to be 2 third of 80. Uh, I think I have taken pardon me this uh, value is not 85 it is 84. So here it will be 84. On further calculation it will be 3 to the 8 times so it will be 56 so the area uh, the area of this part is 56. Similarly we can uh, observe triangle BPC so we can say that the area x over 35 should be equal to 2 by 1 or the value of x should be equal to 70 or the area of CPD is 70. So we have got the missing part area. So the total area of ABC of triangle ABC would be the sum of all these six values which comes out to be 315. So this is the answer for this question.